Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out an update to the Microsoft 365 Insiders, where they are now introducing a new Ink to Text Pen tool in Word, OneNote and PowerPoint for Windows. So if you do find yourself uh, in the Office Insider program, then what this does, it enables you to use your digital pen or stylus to basically convert your handwriting to text as you write. Now, Microsoft says that based on user feedback, um, using your pen, as many of you may know, to insert and edit text in Microsoft 365 apps, such as Microsoft Word, can have its issues and can be uh, challenging in some cases. So with the new Ink to Text pen tool on the Draw tab in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and OneNote for Windows, and they say you can have your handwriting convert to text as you write. So over and above that, when working with text, you can also use pen gestures to select, delete, split, or join text and even create a new line. So how this all works, and um, if you are interested, is that first of all, on the Draw tab, you need to select the Ink to Text Pen tool, as we can see uh, from the GIF and screenshot provided. Number two, start writing in an empty space near the location you want to add text to and then write as you normally would. And number three, to quickly make updates and even apply formatting to the converted text, you use the selection or editing gestures. Then over and above um, the basics of how this uh, new tool works, we also have a couple of other scenarios you can try. So just to go through these, if you would be interested, Microsoft says you can add text. So with the Ink to Text Pen tool, a selected start adding text to an existing document or start a new document. You can also select text. So use the straight line, uh, select gesture to select some text and then apply formatting. Note, they say just on a side note, you can also select text by double tapping with the pen on a word, which I think may be quite useful. And then moving to the next, you can uh, replace text. So you can use the combination of selection and writing to replace text with new content. And then heading to the next, you can delete text. So you can use the scratch out gesture to delete words or even whole paragraphs, as we can see. And they also mention to the next is that you can also add a new line. So you can use, use the new line gesture to split up ideas into different lines, either at the end of a line of the text or in the middle of a sentence after a word. And you can also split and join words heading to our lost a little gif for today's video so you can split and join words so you can use a straight line to split or join your words as we can see and then they also mention uh, two other little areas that you can try this out in uh, bulleted lists uh, you can create a bulleted list start a new line with an asterisk and then add your comment or content and numbered lists you can create a numbered list write a number one with a period then add your content so that's just a couple of the things you can try out uh, with the new um, text uh, pen tool in Word, OneNote, and PowerPoint for Windows. Now, just take note, though, that um, there are some requirements for this to be able to work. Uh, there are three. So the new Ink to Text pen tool requires the following. A digital pen or stylus. The Ink to Text pen, Microsoft says, does not support any other form of input. You need the latest version of Windows 11, version 23H2, and then if you head over to Windows Update, additional language support will require Windows 11 October 31st. Uh, that's the optional bug fix update that rolled out. So that's KB5031455 for version 23H2. So those are some of the requirements. And one of those being you need this optional update installed to be able to try out the new uh, ink to text tool in Word 1. OneNote and PowerPoint for Windows. So if you are an Office Insider, just bringing that to your attention. And um, this was announced by Microsoft on the 21st of November, which was yesterday in my part of the world. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.